Hey, this is Anna from Pet Links. Today I'm going to show you how to file a found report if you have found a pet. Go to petlinks.net, click login. If you have a username or password, you input that here. If you've lost your username or password, you can click here. And if you need a new account, you can click here. Of course, anybody can create a new account for free and can file a found report. Login. I'm a pet owner. Here is my list of pets. They're all safe and sound, but I have found somebody's pet. So I'm going to go down here and click, I have found somebody's pet. Let's say I found a dog. I'm going to give that dog a temporary name, Buster. If he has a tattoo, microchip, license, external tag, pet links, collar tag, uh, once I input these and file the report, the search engine will begin looking, searching the database for any one, any and all of these identifiers. I'm going to put a picture up because that's always a good idea. You can see here that the picture is up. I'll see it on the next screen. All the red starred items need to be input. Date found, country, Canada, province, let's say Alberta. Calgary. This is the information that's going to be viewed by the public. So be sure you're comfortable with the phone number and email that is on in this list here. Otherwise, you can change these two things. Proceed to step two. There's the picture. I am being asked to describe all the pieces, all the parts, body parts, the colors. So I'm going to say gray. All body parts become gray. Now I just need to add any of the details. I'm going to leave that as gray. There is the found poster. This is what it will look like. The picture, my contact information, and the where I found the dog. I will commit my new found report. Okay, now I'm going to go back to my list of found animals. Here, I found two of them. There's Buster. I want, you can see here that four auto matches have been found. That means the system has already searched the database and found four pets that have been lost that match the description that I just input. Let me take a look now. Here's the four. And they're giving me a anything that's about an 80 percent match and they're using they're matching based on color uh, area etc so this dog is mostly gray let me take a look here okay no that's not my dog i can delete this auto match if i'd like if i don't want to see this match again or i could save it you know, I want to expand my search because I'm thinking this dog may have been lost in a different province. It's just taking a minute here. There. Oh, look at there's a lot more in Alberta. I want to go all the way down to uh, a lower percentage. I want to see all the pets that have been lost. So this pet here. Uh, is only 53% match. That's because he's black, he's small, uh, lost a long time ago. I can look even at more next 20 results, but you know what? I want a new search. This is, I want a new province. So I'm looking for dogs that have been lost. Canada, Alberta. Let's try BC. Proceed to step two. Mostly gray. Search. Here are the dogs that have been lost, reported lost in British Columbia. Go all the way down to a 0% match. All the way back up again. 100% Coco. You can do this every day if you'd like. And a new search if I want a new province. But I'm going to go back to my found pets. 
because I believe I have found the owner of Buster. So I am going to click on this. I want to delete this report now because Buster is now safely home. Why am I deleting it? Because Putnix helped me find the owner. Delete found report. There you go. Thanks for helping to find the owner of this animal. Back to my found links. And that is how you file a found report.